one North Carolina artist is helping to remember our fallen heroes by donating a portrait to parents of soldiers killed in duty to country. Heather Burgess takes us to the studio in Wake Forest where art is bringing a tribute as well as peace and closure to U.S. military families across our state. During the process, I feel like I know them. I don't know why. I feel like they're, they're part of me and I get attached to them. Known for beautiful paintings at her studio in Wake Forest, artist Mary Benigem's latest artistic journey reaches out to parents who have lost a son or daughter during military service. When I was seeing that constantly on TV how many of our kids we were losing, I thought, oh, you know, maybe I can do something, keep their, their image and their presence alive and, and to honor them more than anything else. I like to do this mainly for uh, parents, even though I'm open to anybody, but it seems that parents never get over and that pain stays with them forever. It takes me around a month and a half to do one soldier. Soldiers like 20-year-old Michael Rodriguez from Sanford. Sometimes, I don't know, it might sound funny, but I can almost feel uh, some of their personality coming through. And then I've talked with their mom, and, I, and for example, Michael, I told the mom, he, was, he looks like he was all full of himself and, and rowdy, and she said, that's what's Michael. And I, and I was just like, oh, you know, I felt it. I, I grasped that. A picture of Michael always makes me smile, so, you know, I was, I was happy to come. Lori heard about the portraits through American Gold Star Moms, a service organization for mothers who have lost children in military service. Michael, a member of the 82nd Airborne out of Fort Bragg, was killed in Iraq just one month shy of his 21st birthday. I was blessed. I had Michael for almost 21 years. He, he was doing something he loved, was always going to be airborne since he was knee high. Who can say that they love their job and love what they're doing? And Michael was, was able to do that, you know. The pain of loss of hopes and dreams can shatter a family, but each soldier portrait brings solace to heavy hearts and a tribute to the legacy of their child's valor. That it validates their child and validates their feelings and their loss. And then they have something that has been given to them to honor them and to honor their child. Hi, Mary. Hey, Lori, how are you? Good. Welcome, nice to see you again. Can you hug? Come on. Yes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Let me show you what I'm working on. Close your eyes. I want to show you another one. I want to see your, okay. what your thoughts. And I have this picture, too. Okay. This is my mic. <laughs> I'm liking this a little bit. Right? Yes, that's that's my Michael. That's your boy. It's that she wants to put a face with the name. It's so important Yay. Yay. to us Yay. as families who've lost lost loved ones. Because you see it on the news, and it's it's a name, literally a name, and a number, and and that's it. But it, Michael was a real person. They're all real people, and Mary's showing that through her art. They have to feel that I am doing it in a respectful manner. With each stroke and push of the paint, Mary works to bring out the personality and unique character of each hero. When I get the photographs, I, I try to, to look at them and see which one would be the best photograph that would show their features and their expression and even a little bit of their soul. It's amazing how she can just, it's like pull their spirit out through these pictures. Tammy Eakes lost her only child, Lance, when he was killed in Iraq at the age of 25. The process of painting Lance's portrait with Mary 
has also been one of healing. I knew that was him. It was his spirit coming through that picture. I, you know, I remember just crying and Mary asked me, she says, is that a good cry? And I says, yes, all I want to do is hug him. I wish I could hand them their child, their real child back. And all I hand them back is a painting honoring them, but I wish I could do beyond that. Once the painting is over, then I, then I want to know their story. You know, I know how they were, what happened, and we all cry. And you feel like they're part of me. They're part, they, I see them like they could be my kids. They're so young and so beautiful, all of them. They should not be forgotten. So far, Mary Benajem has painted eight soldier portraits for parents who have lost a child. For more information on how you can commission Mary to paint your military loved one, log on to marybenajem.com and click on Soldier Tributes in the gallery section. We also have a link on our website.